Hi, and welcome to my Wii 2 HDMI tutorial. We are going to set up the settings for the Wii 2 HDMI piece that you actually order on the internet. Um, I wanted to explain a couple of things before anyone of those gets confused, such as that the Wii to HDMI converter is not an upscaler. By that, it, by that technological standard, or should I say, it says when using the Wii to HDMI converter to connect the Wii game to the console, when the game console to the TV, you gotta set the input to the corresponding HDMI port mode so that the TV can display the picture. The maximum native resolution of the Wii is analog out 480 interlace or 480 progressive depending on the cable you use, which means the converter will not magically turn your gains into 720 progressive or 1080 progressive. Instead, the converter will use the component analog 480 progressive video signal and turn it into digital information to be sent through the HDMI cable so as to help we be function in 720 or 1080p progressive device with better viewing. And we're going to help solve that problem by starting off. Okay, you're going to go to your Wii menu, like so. Let's go back here. You're going to go to Wii settings. And it'll take you to the main this other set of menus. You're going to go to Wii System Settings 1 and you go to Screen. Then you're going to make sure that both your TV and the Wii are set to 16.9 widescreen. Make sure that both your TV and your Wii are set to 16.9. Okay, next thing you're going to go to TV Resolution. When you connect the Wii to HDMI cable, you're going to see this be op an option that you can set now. So what you're going to do is you're going to switch from standard TV 480 interlace to 480p progressive. Select that and then press confirm. Then we're going to go to the screen burning reduction and you want to turn this on so that way the screen can look more clearer. Press confirm and then that's pretty much it that you have to do. All you have to do is keep going back a couple of times and then select the game. And a lot of people are asking, can this work on a capture card? The answer is yes. Like I can play Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures right now. And it will give me a new screen that doesn't show up on before. And it says, would you like to display the progressive scan mode? As you can tell, the game looks a lot clearer than it was on 480i interlace. I do hope that this clears up everything and that you have a good quality output. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Happy gaming!